Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I want to give you a short introduction into V-Ray. Now, let's say you've already downloaded V-Ray and you've managed to install it. Now what? Well, this is the issue that most of the students that when they first encounter V-Ray, they actually don't know how to set it up or how to even see where the options are for V-Ray. In the next few uh, posts or a few uh, videos I'm gonna make, I would like to make introductory videos in which you will be able to learn the basics of V-Ray, like how you can set it up, how it works, and basically where to find the options. So let's start, uh, start from the beginning. First things first, you've installed V-Ray, now what? Well, in order to be able to use V-Ray, you gotta set it up as your default renderer. How do we do that? Well, you gotta go up in render setup over here, or just press F10. As soon as you, well, there we go. As soon as you uh, click here, this is gonna come up. Now, uh, in the common tab, if you scroll down, you're gonna see a field uh, where it says assign renderer click here now in here you have three uh, fields you have production material editor and active shade now click on the three little um, dots over here and now you can actually choose which uh, production renderer do you want to use now here on my computer I have installed V-Ray 2.4 at the time of uh, the recording this is the I'm guessing this is the latest of the 2.x versions but V-Ray 3.2 is up so if you want to use V-Ray 3.2 this is the one you you want to choose so here in production you want to choose V-Ray advanced 2.4 03 or whatever version you have just make sure that in the production you don't choose V-Ray RT V-Ray RT stands for real-time renderer that is what you use for active shade so here in active shade click the choose render button and choose V-Ray RT so as soon as you have V-Ray Advanced set up for production and V-Ray RT set up for active shade, just click save as defaults. As soon as you click this, every time you start up Max, you're gonna have V-Ray set up as your default renderer. Now, let's close this and see what else we have to set up here. Now, we have V-Ray set, uh, set up to be our renderer. Now, the other thing that I want to make sure that I have set up is when I click the material buttons, like this here, or the M button, this is what comes up, the material editor. Now, in case you've just installed uh, V-Ray, there's a pretty good chance that your materials here are not set up as V-Ray materials, but they're probably set up as something like uh, standard materials and this is what you're seeing right here and if I click on any other you're gonna see that it says V-Ray and all the settings here are different don't worry we're gonna go uh, up over all of the settings for the material in the different video but for now let's just see how we can get all of our materials to uh, be set up as V-Ray materials by default in order to get that to go uh, go for us we gotta go and customize click here and scroll down to where it says custom UI and defaults switcher click it and in here you have basically two fields that you can choose the one on the left where it says initial settings for tool options this is basically presets for Max when you scroll down, you're going to find one that says max.vray. Choose that one. That will set all of your uh, materials and settings for V-Ray. On the right side, though, you have UI schemes, which can change the appearance of your 3ds Max. 
I've left my on default as I'm pretty much accustomed to it. So if you don't like it, you can change it to having it dark or light or whatever suits your needs. I'm just gonna leave it on UI and max view rate. As soon as you set, uh, click set, it's gonna ask you to restart max. As soon as you do that, you're done. Everything is gonna be set up for V-Ray. So when you click Material Editor, next time you come in, everything, like all of these little uh, balls for uh, the materials, they're gonna be set up by default for V-Ray materials. Now, the last thing we wanna do, and the last thing I wanna go over in this video is for you to check and see if V-Ray is active. The same thing goes like previously, just click on render setup or F10. And if you've set everything up correctly, like we talked previously, so you have set it up in assign renderer. Uh, up here, you should see a tab called V-Ray. In V-Ray, you're gonna see all of the options for V-Ray. In the indirect illumination, you're gonna see the setups for GI which is, again, something we're going to go over in another video. And in the settings, you're still going to see V-Ray. So if you can see all of these options, that means V-Ray has been set up correctly. So I want to cut it short here. And in the next videos, we're going to see a little bit more about what V-Ray brings and how to set it up.